First thing you should know is that there's some chance you're going to hear screaming in the background. It's a three-year-old, so just so we're aware. Just so you know. So, on this one, there's a couple things that are a little different. First of all, I didn't give you one of the resistances. So, finding the total resistance is pretty hard. doesn't mean you shouldn't try it. It just means that it's going to be hard. Second thing is this. See this wires right here? This is in parallel with this right here. Now, that's kind of weird because this has no resistance on it. In fact, if you went ahead and did the 1 over RT, if you didn't recognize what it was, 1 over 0 plus 1 over 20, you'd be startled by the fact that you'd get undefined, which seems awfully odd. The answer to the question is, this is a short right here. This is a short, okay? This is a short. This whole side is dead right from the beginning. So what is the current through resistor number 4? Nothing. There's no choice. Nothing's going to go through that one. So I4, right off the bat, is 0 amps. Also, that ammeter, uh, there's two ammeters, the other one, uh, that ammeter is going to read 0 amps. Because there's no current going through it. That whole part of the circuit is doing nothing because all the electrons can go through a shorter route, so they do so. They don't have to fight their way across the resistor, so they don't. Okay? As long as there's some resistance, there, some would go the other way, but there's none, so therefore you get none that way. Which means my circuit's fairly simple. I've got one resistor here and two resistors here. I'm going to have to total those two up, so I'm going to go ahead and go, okay, so these two together. Uh, looks like 1 over 10 plus 1 over 30. 1 over RT equals 1 over 10 plus 1 over 30. So I'm going to throw my calculator because I'm lazy. 1 divided by 10 plus 1 divided by 30. Boom. Uh, 1 divided by shift answer, and I get 7.5 ohms. And so I get well, my resistance would be uh, 7.5 ohms. Now here's an interesting problem. Plus what? Uh, R1. So our total resistance for the whole entire circuit is going to be 7.5 ohms plus R1, but we don't know what that is, and so that's a bummer. So we're already off the rails. Doesn't mean we shouldn't keep going, because with physics, we, hopefully at some point you realize some of our, one of our problems on these skills is just kind of persevere. Uh, voltage total equals current total resistance total. You're like, well, I'm in deep trouble here because I don't think I know much. My voltage is 9. My current... Oh, wait a second. My current, I do know. Because everything is going through this one ammeter. Because everything's going through that one ammeter. There's nothing going any other way, right? So that has to be my total current. So my total current is going to be uh, 0.5 amps. The moment I get that, I find my resistance total. My resistance total is going to be 18 ohms. My total resistance for everything in the whole entire circuit is 18 ohms. Well, then... Let's see if I can find my pen again. Then RT is 18, means that 7.5 plus R1 must be 18. In other words, if this counts as 7.5, then this must count as whatever's left over. We know the whole thing's got to be 18, since so it's being 10.5 ohms. The rest of it should get super easy, but in case you missed it, let's we'll move forward from here. Uh, my voltage is going to be 9. I'm going to lose 0.5 times, going across the first resistor we just said was 10.5 ohms. Plus, now I can pick either route. I'm going to pick the 10 one, 10 times whatever the current going through that one is, right? I'm going to lose, starting at the battery, I can't find my pen. Here it is. Here's my pen. So starting at the battery, I'm going to go out through this thing. I'm going to drop whatever this minute much voltage is. Then I got to drop that much voltage, whether I go this way or that way, correct? So I'm simply going to go 9 equals 5.25 plus 10A. This gives me 3.75, 10A. A must be equal to, why A? There shouldn't be an A in this. This should be current. I apologize. All the way back to here. It's measured in amps, but it's not an A. That's for certain. Uh, so this gives me 0.375 amps for the R2. So I2 would have to be equal to 0.375 amps. By the way, I1 we've already discovered is 0.5 amps. And so therefore, moving forward, we have to check the other one. How do I check the other one? Well, uh, i got to lose the same voltage across there. So I can go right here. I can go 
9 equals 0.5 times 10.5. That was how much I lose going to that first resistor, plus 30 times I. Okay, so this becomes 9 equals 5.25 equals plus, sorry, plus 30I. And uh, that gives me 3.75 equals 30I. And therefore, I equals uh, 0.125 amps. Now, just to make sure I did it right, this plus this has to equal the current going in. We already know the current going is 0.5 amps. So the question mark does 0.375 plus 0.125, does that equal a half amp? And the answer is yes. So everything is good to go. So I3 would also have to be, in this case, uh, 0.125 amps. So what does the voltmeter read? The voltmeter reads, well, voltmeter is across the battery, right? An electron positive charge or comes out of this side, goes through the voltmeter, comes back, has to drop 9 volts to get back to there. So this one's going to read 9 volts. What's the resistance of R1? We found that like an hour ago. It's 10.5 ohms. Okay, so that's how to do that problem, at least one of the ways to do that problem. Um, if that doesn't work for you, let me know. Um, other thing you could have done is you could have found the voltage drop across here. We talked about that before. You could have found your voltage drop across here by doing 10 times, uh, sorry, 10, I should do 10.5 times 0.5. And that would give you 5.25, which would tell you that across this one, whatever's left over, what's left over? 3.75, and you could apply that across both ways. Uh, that's another way you could approach it. Anyway, uh, as long as you got one way, they will always one way will work always, right? So whichever way works better in your brain, use that idea. All right, posting it.